Hi guys, it's me again, and here we go with Cameroon. <laughs> As news has been the beginning of the people in Cameroon is likely the Bacas or Pygmies, but it's unsure as they still inhabit the forests of south and east provinces as Bantu speakers originate in the Cameroonian highlands were among the first groups to move out before other invaders and during the late 1770s and early 1800s the Fulani or pastoral Islamic people of western Sahel conquered the most of what is now northern Cameroon, subjugating and displacing this largely non-Muslim population. Another Portuguese arrived on Cameroon coast in the 1500s. Malawi prevented significant... Did you say something down there? Sarah? Did you say something to me? Did you say something? Did you say Now the, although the Portuguese arrived in Ca Cameroon's coast in the 1500s, Malaya prevented significant European settlement and coast conquest of the interior until 1870, early 1870s, and while la when large supplies of the Malaya suppressant quinine became available, as early European presence in Cameroon was primarily devoted to coastal trade, an acquisition of slaves as the northern part of Cameroon was important part of the Muslim slave trade ne network as it wasn't just one person cow taken as the northern part of Cameroon was in as the slave trade was largely suppressed by the mid 19th century as Christian missionaries established a presence in the 19th century and continued to play a role in Cameroonian life And from the beginning of 1884, all of present day Cameroon and several parts of ne neighbours became a part of the German colony, uh, colony of Cameroon, spelled K A M E R U N, not so far from present spelling, with the castle at Buer and later at Yaoundé, and after World War I. The colony was partitioned between Britain and France on the 28th of June 1919 League of Nations mandate. League of Nations being a precursor to the UN in the interwar years. As France gained a large geographical share, transferred outlying regions to neighbouring French colonies, and the rule from the rest from Yonde as the British trade strip bordering Nigeria from the sea to Lake Chad with an equal population that was ruled from Lagos and in 1955 the Union of Peoples of Cameroon or UPC based largely among the Bemileke and Basa ethnic groups began an armed struggle for independence in French Cameroon and this rebellion continued with a diminishing intensity after independence. An estimates put the deaths from about tens of thousands to a couple of hundred thousand as French Cameroon achieved independence in 1960 from as the Republic of Cameroon and the following year the March Largely Muslim, northern two thirds of British Cameroon voted to join Nigeria. As the largely Christian southern third voted to join the Republic of Congo, not Congo, Cameroon, to form a Federal Republic of Cameroon. As formerly British and French regions each maintained substantial autonomy. And, but then Amadou Ahidjo, a French educated Fulani, was chosen president of the Federation in 1961 as Ahidjo 
relying on our own pervasive international internal security apparatus. Internal, not international. He outlawed all political parties but his own in 1966 as he successfully suppressed the UPC rebellion, catching the last important re rebel leader in 1970. In 1972, the new constitution replaced the federation with a unitary state. As Ahijo resigned as president in 1982 and was constitutionally succeeded by his prime minister, Paul Bia, a career official from the Bulu Betty ethnic group. As a Ahijo later regretted his choice of successor, but his supporters failed to overthrow Bia in a 1984 coup as Bia won a single candidate elections in 1984 and 88 and a flawed multi-party elections in 1992 and 97 as his Cameroon People's Democratic Movement CPDM party held a size majority, majority in the legislature following 2000, 2002 elected election with 149 deputies out of a total 180 and yes, yeah, Cameroon is a West African country known as, as African, often known as Africa in nature due to incredible cultural and ge geological diversity within the country as it is, the country is home to over 1,738 different linguistic groups. As yeah, there's official languages as there's French, English and German. Uh, as French and English were introduced between 1916 and 1960 when Cameroon was obviously the split between the UK and France as the legacy of the colonial past ha is still visible as French and English are the official languages as 8 out of 10 regions of the nation including which has about 83% of the population of Cameroon are Francophones and the two remaining Fusions are about 17% of the Cameroon's population are mainly Anglophones. <coughs> However, the proportion of Anglophones within, within the country are, is decreasing. As a Cameroon is a member of the La Francophonie, as well as the Commonwealth of Nations, as the government of Cameroon has set up several bilingual schools in the country to encourage the learning of both official languages of Cameroon. However, oh, very few Cameroonians in Cameroon actually speak the two languages, and some do not speak either languages. And then, as German served as the official language of Cameroon during a German colonial rule till World War One, and afterwards gradually overpowered by French and English, but soon lost its status as an official language of Cameroon. However, the German language is still popular. Language among students has about and has about three hundred thousand speakers, and one is within the country, and has the largest number of German speakers among the countries of Africa. And there's kind of like a lot more, a load more languages. Like there's fifty-five Afro Asia. Attic languages, 169 Niger Congo languages, five, like four Obangian languages, two Nilo Saharan languages spoken within Cameroon. As the Niger lang Congo languages can be classified into further classifier include 140 Rwene, Benue Congo languages, and 28. Adam Ari languages and uh, Senegambian language. As a number of native Cameroon languages have alphabets and writing systems, but are hardly represented in radio, as television programs or in libraries. 
as an author graphic system for all camera in in languages was established in the 1970s and is known as General Alphabetia of Cameroon. Then there's Cameroonian Pidgin English, uh, which is a lingua franca in the country's northwest and southwest pr provinces. And in the north, Fafilde plays the same role as a lingua franca in the east, south, and centre provinces of Cameroon is. I wonder as Cam Franglais is a hybrid of English and French language and is prevalent in locations where English and French speaking Cameroonian ends meet as the American Sign Language was also introduced to Cameroon by deaf missionary Andrew Foster and it serves as a sign language within Cameroon. And then there's uh, the legend of the Faux Hoax as the best research legend is the vanished hitchhiker and it comes countless versions all over the world. As an elderly lady who has purportedly missed her bus is going to ride by a helpful young woman as the latter becomes suspicious when she notices the unusually hairy arms of the passenger and when she sees a police patrolman she immediately stops and jumps out of the car and together with the policeman she returns to the car but the stranger is gone and where she has left a plastic bag and the passenger seat seats which contains an axe as a purported hitchhiker was apparently a wanted ripper who dismembers his victims with an axe so one may have been lucky as people who pass in the story usually guarantee the truth by affirming that they actually happened to they actually happened to a friend or uh, like a friend of a friend kind of thing as it kind of shows like the once upon a time thing of an urban legend as the moral is usually less direct less direct warning against free strangers like the hitchhikers in this one or exotic craft creatures or the dark side of technological innovations like and yeah that is the video and yeah see you later and oh, half an hour